Well, it's a little bit of a story, but I think it's worth telling. Well, that's pretty simple. Um, I've been writing, oh gosh, for almost 60 years, uh, believe it or not. Uh, I can't believe it. At any rate, most of what I've written has been scientific in nature, technical in nature. Um, it addresses things that pilots need to know. This book is not like that at all. This book is designed to get people interested in flying, get them excited about flying, uh, get them to go out to the airport and take their first lesson, uh, as I did. It was the introduction to a whole new adventure in my life. Uh, I've never stopped loving flying. Well, the one message I've always wanted to share, especially with young people, is that aviation, flying, traveling the world is such an exciting adventure. You know, those of us who fly for a living, who are well, airline pilots, for example, we never consider going to work. We consider going out and enjoying life. That's what being an airline pilot's all about. And if you wanted to do that for a living, I, I can't think of anything more exciting than that. Oh, it has to be learning how to land. <laughs> Flying the airplane itself is relatively easy, but it's the technology involved that you have to learn that's difficult. But learning to land, that's always challenging. But when you do it right and you learn how to make a good landing and it's smooth, nothing more satisfying than that. So it's difficult to learn, but satisfying once you've accomplished that. I think this is true in any field of endeavor. If you're going to be good at something, you want to be as good as you can possibly be. And that means learning, learning all the time, improving, getting better. Certainly that's true of flying, but it's really true of life itself. Uh, flying is something you always have to strive to improve. You have to be better all the time. That means you're safer. My son, Brian, who is a captain for American Airlines, uh, has had the opportunity to do a lot of photography. And he's taken some gorgeous photographs that are uh, in this book, especially weather photographs. Uh, I think he's done a great job of uh, making that contribution. Well, one is always learning. Uh, when you write a book, especially one designed to get people enthusiastic about flying, you're always learning new methods, learning new technology, learning new ways to get people excited about flying. And that was the goal of this book, to get people interested in flying, to get them in excited. And, and learning how to do that is always an ongoing process. And it was exciting for me because I think that it was accomplished. I think we created a book that, that does get people really interested in wanting to learn to fly. <laughs> that was the tough part. Uh, if you look at this book, you'll notice that every two pages, every two page spread is independent of every other two page spread in the book. So you can sit down and open the book to any two pages, and you're gonna learn something new and different without having had to learn anything previously or afterwards. It, it's uh, The book teaches you in bites, and I love that. <laughs> well, I'd like to say you read my other books, <laughs> but I won't do that. What I will say is that there's enough in this book to get someone excited about the idea of learning to fly. 
And the next resource is to go out to the airport, find an airplane, find an instructor, and take your first lesson. I can't think of anything better than that. Well, it's a little bit of a story, but I think it's worth telling. I guess I got interested in flying when my parents sent me on an airline flight to visit my grandparents in New Jersey. Uh, we lived in LA. And uh, I was sitting in this airplane looking out the window. It was a Douglas DC-4, North American Airlines. And I looked out at the wing and I knew that it was the wing that kept the airplane up in the air. Obviously, we all know that. But in looking at the wing, I noticed it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't flapping, it wasn't wiggling, it wasn't working. It wasn't doing a doggone thing. And yet it was keeping this big machine up in the air. That, that really puzzled me. I couldn't figure out why. So when I got to uh, my grandparents' hometown in New Jersey, I went to the library and I checked out a book. I, I still have it. It's called The uh, Pre-Flight Science of Aeronautics. And as I read this book, I just got absolutely mesmerized. And I was determined to learn much more about how and why airplanes fly. Well, I think the book is perfect for someone who's looking for a little excitement in their lives. Someone who wants to do something new and unusual and really thrilling, and that's flying an airplane. This book will do that for you. It's got what, 350 pictures and diagrams and illustrations. And the idea is to get you excited. And I hope I've accomplished that. You read the book, you might get a little thrilled about learning to fly. Well, I went wherever I could to get photographs, but for the most part, I went to the manufacturers of uh, general aviation airplanes and they were kind enough to provide some for the book and some really good ones. Uh, in fact, the cover is, is a classic example of uh, what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful photograph of an airplane uh, at sunset uh, flying over some clouds. It's gorgeous. And we have a bunch of photographs like that uh, that tell a story as well uh, in the book. And we, uh, we went to no end, uh, stopped at nothing to get great pictures. And we got a bunch. Well, my goal in writing this book is to get people sufficiently interested, excited, and motivated to go to an airport, get a hold of a flight instructor at a flight school, and take your first lesson. Once you do that, you're hooked. My favorite chapter uh, in the book is one that describes a little bit about how and why airplanes fly uh, using some examples, not science, just examples that people can use. For example, why is it that a wing generates lift? Well, if you blow across the top of this piece of paper, notice it rises. That's exactly how and why a wing flies. Well, that kind of thing and, and a lot of others are in this chapter on the basics of the science of flight. And I, I hope it excites you the way it does me. You know, when your son or your daughter says that they wanna do what you do for a living, that's a compliment. They have virtually validated your life by saying, I like what you do so much. In fact, I want to do it too. So that's, that was just wonderful when Brian, uh, my oldest son, decided he wanted to learn to fly. It was a shock to me. I didn't know he wanted to. But one day he, he said, Dad, I want to fly. Will you teach me? I said, you bet I will. And, and I know that he had that same feeling when his son, my grandson, Jonathan, went to him and said, I want to learn to fly too. And so we've made it a family affair. It's, it's, it's great fun, very gratifying.
what I see today is something we haven't seen for decades, and that is a shortage of personnel, whether it's mechanics, pilots, air traffic controllers, you name it. There's a shortage of uh, personnel. So if you're interested in aviation, this is the time to get into it right now.